News app. Hi, everyone. You're continuing to watch special coverage of the Chauvin sentencing here on CBSN. I'm Elaine Quijano. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to bring in CBS News contributor Ibram X. Kendi joining me now with more. Dr. Kendi, thank you so much for being with us. What is your take on today's sentencing? It was 22 and a half years, not the maximum 30 years. What kind of message do you think that sentence sends? I Dr. think Kendi, it is important. Yes, sorry about that. I, I do think it no, is important right. to 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 put this this sentence, you know, in in a larger context. I believe since 2005, 11 officers have been convicted and ultimately sentenced for 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 police violence, and about you know, and so it's rare for an officer to be to be sentenced. Uh, let alone, you know, convicted, but sentenced for this long. And so I, I think legal observers and people who, of course, have been following police uh, violence cases for some time uh, expected uh, a, you know, a term or a sentence around this amount. But I can understand, you know, people who, who live in communities, who, who know people who have been killed by police, who even know people, as, as some of the family members and activists stated, who are, are, are in prison with longer uh, sentences for nonviolent, you know, crimes who aren't going to be satisfied, uh, you know, with this, with this sentence. And I wonder how you think this trial of Derek Chauvin and this sentencing will impact future cases across the nation, including the upcoming trials for the other officers involved in George Floyd's murder. I think you, you, it's certainly the case that this should